Good morning. So today is March 1st, which means it's the first day of middle grade March. I'm going to try and do a middle grade vlog this month. Um, I've only ever done like one other vlog on my channel, so we'll see how this goes. But um, yeah, I'm really excited for my um, reading plans this month. And um, March 1st also means it's my brother's birthday. So happy birthday. <laughs> And, um, yeah, I'm really excited to get the month started. Um, my daughter is kind of in that stage where she's deciding she's too big for naps. So mommy's reading time has been a little scattered, but we'll see how it goes. I want to wish you a wonderful middle grade March reading time season. <laughs> I just want to wish everyone a wonderful reading month and I hope that you find some new favorites. So, um, yeah. Here's to a great month. So hello booktube nation. Um, I just wanted to give you a quick update for my reading so far um, for middle grade March. Um, I've started the book of the maidservant um, and it's going a little slow. I've been quite tired this week. Um, so so far I'm enjoying it. It definitely has a journey aspect so that would for sure fit that prompt. But um, I just got back from acupuncture, which I haven't been for like a year, um, and I'm feeling pretty good. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, I'm looking forward to reading some more today and continuing with my middle grade March reads. So I'm back. I just wanted to do a quick update. Um, I haven't finished a book yet, but I'm reading two for um, middle grade March right now and really enjoying them. Um, so the first one, I'm kind of slowly working my way through this one. This is the book of the maidservant and, um, yeah, it's kind of a little bit slower going. Um, there's a lot of like religious overtones in it and, um, I always like to be careful with that. Um, but yeah, so far I'm enjoying the main character and there's a journey aspect. So check for that challenge. But yeah, so far so good. I would say right now I'm feeling probably about a three star on that one. And then the other one is the Cinders and Sparrow book. So not really what I was expecting, but really really enjoying that one it's going really fast it's a lot darker than I had anticipated so some of that has made me a little nervous like I don't want it to get too dark I'm a total chicken um but there are ghosts and things and um yeah there's like a mystery throughout the story which I always love a middle grade mystery so yeah so um I'm really really enjoying that one I'm kind of eating that one up and so the other one is taking me a little bit longer but yeah, I'm really enjoying it and um, I'm excited to see how it ends. Good morning, happy weekend. Um, yeah, so last night I finished Cinders and Sparrow. I loved it. It's so good. Um, it's a little bit darker than I was expecting, but it was really enjoyable. It's definitely a book I could see myself rereading. Um, it really did have like, Wizard of Vaz vibes, but a little darker, mixed with like Narnia, kind of. Um, I kind of was right about my guess on that for me, anyway, for my reading experience. But um, yeah, it was so good. Um, it's basically about this little girl, and she, um, I guess, this young lady. And she is an orphan, but then she finds out maybe she's not. And she receives this letter from a mysterious uh, scarecrow. And then she goes on this journey of self-discovery and learning who she is and where she's from and just how much she's capable of and all those wonderful things. And it was so good. A little darker than I, for me, but um, I really really enjoyed that one. And then I'm still reading The Book of the Maidservant, but I also started last night, um, this is Dragon Pearl, and um, yeah, so far I only read chapter one last night before I went to bed, but um, yeah, I was really enjoying it, um, kind of like the layout of the story and the character 
and it seems like it's gonna be pretty good so yeah so i'm excited to keep going with middle grade march i hope you are all really enjoying your middle grade march um i hope this vlog style works okay this is kind of new for me but i know that people really enjoy watching them so i thought that i would do one for one of my favorite readathons hello again it's been a couple of days since i've updated you on my middle grade march vlog but i did finish i think the day before yesterday the book of the maid servant i so it's based on a true story, which I didn't know until the author's note at the end, which I really appreciated, like looking back through it. Um, I thought that that was really, really um, well done, um, that portion of it. Um, it ended up being a three star for me. Um, it was interesting. The pacing was a little off for me and um, I'll go more in my wrap up about it, but I had some issues with um, like the age, that it was geared at. I thought the writing style was appropriate, but some of the content um, I was a little uh, nervous about for the age range that it was uh, marketed for. Yes, I live near a road. Um, but anyway, yeah, I just wanted to do a quick update. I hope that everyone's doing well <laughs> and um, that you have a wonderful weekend. Hello again. So here is <laughs> the end of the month. Unfortunately, I didn't get to vlog as much as I wanted to, but um, yeah, I did end up coming down with a sinus cold, as I'm sure you can still hear, but I wanted to check in because it's the last day of the month and just let you know kind of my progress and how I've done, and then I will film a wrap up as well. Um, so, so far I've completed four books for Middle Gray March and two others. Um, I really enjoyed most of what I've read. Um, I got into the Anoa Holmes series that they've made a movie on Netflix and I've read the first two books in that series and I watched the movie as well which was really nice. I love that's one of my favorite things about being a reader is to read the book and then watch the adaptation. So that was a really lovely part of my month and I really enjoyed it. I am still trying to finish one more book um, about halfway through. Um, it is the Rick Riordan Presents The Dragon Pearl that I've been reading and I am enjoying it. I just had put it aside because I got swept up in Enola Holmes. I'd really like to finish that one before the end of the month. But um, anyway, um, I hope that everyone has had a lovely middle grade March. And um, if you've enjoyed these little vlogs, let me know. I may try and do some more stuff in the future. I had a lovely month. I am looking forward to continuing reading um, some middle grade next month as well, too. So um, yeah, I hope everyone had a great reading month. Hello again. So March is officially over. So um, I ended up finishing five and a half books with and with my schedule lately, I'm feeling pretty good about that. Plus, um, my family and I got sick. And so, yeah, so I'm going to feel really good about that. Plus, I ended up finishing two other books. So, um, yeah, it was a really successful reading month for me. Um, I wanted to round out this vlog. I hope to make more with more interesting content. I thought I would show you um, my, give you a little, like, snapshot of my custom bookcase. My husband <laughs> lovingly made me um, a few years ago. Now, this one I keep mostly um, classics and things on, but it's huge, so it does have some other other things on it as well. So as you can see it goes all the way to our ceiling and I've got some there's a vintage Mickey that my little girl loves and this is kind of where I put my books that I've either recently finished or plan to read soon as well the ones that are like facing out but yeah, so it's huge and I absolutely love it. One day I'm sure I will do a shelf tour, but um, yeah, that will take a long time. Farewell for now. Bye-bye.